I'm Coach Miller and welcome to All Marine Fighter and our Boxing Stories Edition. Today, I want to talk about what I consider my greatest win. Now, in amateur boxing, you win some, you lose some. Let's say you go to a Golden Gloves tournament. It could be three days, three fights. If you keep winning, uh, you may, well, let's say you win two fights and you lose in the finals or something like that. If you win all three, you go to regionals. Three days, three fights, you keep winning. If you lose, uh, or if you go to nationals, five days, five fights, that type of thing. So wins and losses are kind of relative. Now, obviously, you want to win more than you lose. But uh, when it comes to wins, I would consider, for me, one of my greatest wins was the win that helped launch me uh, to the All-Marine Corps boxing team. So kind of break the story. I started fighting when I was 15, so I had a lot of fights by then. But I had a little bit of a layoff when I joined the Marine Corps, about two years actually. Went out to Kaneway Bay, Hawaii, and I was stationed out there. And it took about, like I said, about two years. I had some deployments, that type of thing. And I came to the chow hall and there was a flyer for the base team. And I was like, oh wow, I'll get back into boxing. And I remember when I was uh, still in high school, I fought at a pretty good gym in Ohio, and in, uh, in Akron, Ohio. And we had a fighter that, uh, Anthony Little was his name. He joined the Marine Corps and fought for the all Marine Corps boxing team. And as a high school kid, I was like, man, wow, you're in the Marine Corps and you get to fight and they pay you to fight. That's awesome. You know, you get a Marine Corps paycheck. It's not like millions of dollars or anything. It's just like a regular standard Marine Corps paycheck for your rank. But I thought that was like the coolest thing in the world. And he was like ranked in the top 10. I think at the time I saw the rankings, like I said, I was a senior in high school. So it was probably 2001. Yeah, about 2001, 2002. He was like number six in the nation. I'm like, wow, that's what I want to do. So fast forward, I said, all right, try to get on this base team, show what I can do, and go from there. The coach was pretty cool. And uh, my very first fight, I fought the Bay Fest uh, Festival there in Conway Bay. It's like a huge festival where civilians and military are on. It's like a big carnival type of thing. Well, they had an open arena, had boxing fights. That was my first fight in the Marine Corps. And I won three-round decision. Moved on to my second fight, which was a heavyweight fight. I fought at uh, light heavyweight uh, previously and middleweight in high school. This particular fight was a heavyweight fight. And that's kind of a funny story that I'll make a separate video on. Let's just say that I won that one. <laughs> it's pretty funny though. The third fight was pretty important. And it was with one of uh, the Rodriguez brothers who had kind of ruled the islands for some time. Uh, the older brother, Brent, was ranked in, top, in the top 10 in the nation. I can't remember totally. He might have been like 9 or 10, right? Just at the bottom of the top 10. But still, he's a, he was a good fighter. And his brother was also a Nationals competitor, uh, Mark Rodriguez. Well, there have been talks about us meeting up. And for me, I'm ambitious. You know, I've, I was already fighting for quite a long time before that. And so I said, I want to take these guys on. Uh, Mark was in the light heavyweight weight class, but Brent was in the 150, so that was going to be another discussion for another time. I made a video on that about humility lesson number one. You can take a look at that one. But I needed to fight Mark, uh, who was in my weight class, and I wanted to use that kind of like a resume builder to send out to the All-Marine Corps coach, who was in Campbell's Union, North Carolina at the time. Some people can say, well, why don't you just go, you know, and fight to get regionals or, or go to nationals and meet the coach out there or whatever. But when you're on active duty uh, service, it's a little different. You can't just leave when you want. You have to take leave, and then even then, if it's allowed, then it's going to be on your own dime. It's kind of like being at a club show uh, where you got to be able to raise money to be able to pay for everything. So it was just, I try to get through word of mouth, but also we had a, a former uh, All Marine Corps team member on my base team. He had gotten, you know, wanted to advance his career, so he left the team, and I met him out there. Uh, he, he was like a uh, Motor T driver, I think. Well, anyways, he got in contact with the coach and told him about what was going on and said, okay, let's, let's hear about him some more. So that kind of gave me the ends to talk to the coach and have him come out and check me out. Well, the big fight's coming up with Mark, and it was a huge event. We, we as Marines, we put on first-class events. We put on number one events. We fought at the, uh, the E-Club ballroom. And it was a really nice ballroom. It was first class. It was amazing. And my promoter did a really good job with that. So I'll, I'll never forget. I was sitting there thinking to myself before the fight, all right, this is it. I got I to gotta beat this guy. Kind of put a, 
uh, a nail in what I want to do for the uh, my resume for the you know all Marine Corps team and try to build towards that. And since I was the home fighter, I got to come out last. And <laughs> I'll never forget, I came out to Metallica's Unforgiven 2. And every, the whole crowd was pumped. I had a whole bunch of my Marines there from my platoon, my company, and also my unit. I mean, it was it was a big, big deal, you know? You know, Mark it, uh, was a big deal for the island, so we had a lot of uh, Islanders there too. And so it was a really, really nice event. I have pictures actually on my Instagram. You wanna take a look at that. Also the Facebook page. Um, I wish I would have had that fight recorded, but yeah, it is what it is. I get up into the ring, ref calls us to the center. We look each other in the eyes, we're about ready to get it on. Tap gloves, go back to our corners, the bell rings. Come straight out to the middle. We both uh, came straight out to the middle. He is an aggressive fighter. Um, we're about the same height, so we're about both about a six foot or so. And so the first half of the round was about feeling out you know, seeing how, um, you know, each other's skill and technique was because uh, I saw his brother Brent fight and his brother's really good, but I uh, had never really seen him fight. So I was kind of feeling him out. I hadn't seen him in any gyms or anything else like that that I had been sparring at. He did a pretty uh, good combination where he caught me with a hook and it was a pretty hard hook, but I thought to myself, oh, okay, I, I can handle that. And those of you who fight, you know what I'm talking about, where you can feel somebody's power and you're, you're like, okay, well, that's not too bad compared to others where they got like a bag of rocks in their hands or something like that, right? <laughs> it hits you and you're like, oh, man, let's not try to do that too much, right? So I was like, okay, I can handle this, dude. So the first round, we traded shots back and forth. I would say the first round could have gone either way. It really could have uh, on points. Second round, I go out. And we meet in the center again, start trading shots back and forth. And I remember he wanted to push uh, the envelope and he started throwing a bunch of punches. I took a step back and I was, I was up against the ropes. And I'll never forget this. It was like slow motion. He was just one, two, one, two, and I'm dodging left and right and, and moving back up against the ropes, uh, springboarding off the ropes. And, and I'll never forget this where I just basically came out with a left hook and I put everything I had into that bad boy and I caught him square across the jaw. And I remember him buckling and then taking a few steps back and he, he reaches back down and he touch, his hand touches the, uh, the canvas and then he gets an eight count. And the crowd was roaring, all my Marines are there cheering and, and screaming and hooting and hollering and I was like, wow, this is awesome. I said, I got him. I got him. We're gonna put, I'm going to put the pressure on him. So he gets his eight count. He wants to fight. Comes back out. We trade some shots. It was getting to be towards the end of the round. I wasn't able to finish him because he looked like he had collected himself quite a bit. And so I didn't want to push it and then my, and get caught myself, right? The third round was just as fiery. Neither one of us got knocked down or anything else like that. No points taken away, but shots being traded back and forth. But you could see that he lost some confidence knowing that he had lost a point in that second round. It's only a three round fight, uh, three round, three minutes. And so it was uh, pretty intense. But when that round ended, I felt pretty confident. I said, yes, I've got this. And when the ref brings us up and my hand is raised and just, you know, with a, the winning decision, uh, it was just a huge, huge cry of all my Marines and, the, and that type of thing in the crowd. And I jumped up and I'm like, yes, this is like my, my key victory to, um, uh, really one step closer to getting the all Marine Corps coach and you know but there was kind of a problem though and I will say this and that leads into the next video which is you know my humility lesson number one is you know after this win I did get a little fool of myself and I said some crazy things that I shouldn't have said that night uh, you can watch that video to see what happened with that because I would eventually uh, fight his brother Brent because we were now the two best fighters on the islands and he was the ranked fighter in the nation and so our paths were going to cross because I didn't want to leave the islands uh, and go to the Marine Corps team without seeing him first. With that win I was able to convince the all Marine Corps boxing coach uh, coach Michaels to come out and put me through a little mini trial and I consider this my greatest win because it would launch me to be able to go to the invitations in Campbell Jr., North Carolina in January of 2005. And after a three week trial, I end up making the team. It's a separate video in itself. I'll talk about that. But 
I consider this win over Mark uh, as one of my greatest wins. This win was just deep, near and dear to me because it was in front of all of my Marines and the camaraderie that's there. And I just absolutely loved everything, everything that took place. So that fight and the pictures that would be taken by the reporters that were there and some of the base reporters too, those pictures would actually make its way into the All Marine magazine that I would see about a few months later when I was actually on the team, when I made the team later. And uh, I'll show a picture of that here on the screen. And that was pretty amazing because of all the shots that could be, uh, shots as in pictures, that could be taken, <laughs> it was one where Mark just clobbered me in the jaw. I won that fight, but that picture went around the entirety of the Marine Corps. Consider that like a humility check, right? I, I, it was one of my greatest wins, but the picture that went around the entirety of the United States Marine Corps was me getting clobbered in the jaw. That's pretty funny. <laughs> so what about you? Uh, tell me about one of your greatest wins. And you could be kickboxing, MMA, boxing, some other martial arts. Tell me, tell me about one of your greatest wins and why it was so great and the implications of it. We fighters like to hear those kinds of stories, but uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel, share the videos that time, click that like button too if you, if you like the story, and uh, you know su subscribe for more content. And we'll see you next time. Stay motivated. Mm -hmm.